What up Suspendees, my name is Ben from Suspendee Studios. Today I want to go into how to install Godot. So first off, you're going to want to go to GodotEngine.org. It's pretty simple. And once you have gone to GodotEngine.org, click on download and you should see um, a variety of options. Now, um, if, you, if you have a different operating system, get the one for those specific operating systems. Um, but if you have Godot, um, or if you have Windows, if you have a 32-bit system, get 32-bit, and if you have a 64-bit system, get 64-bit. Now, I'm going to, since later on in the course, uh, we're going to use C-sharp, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download the mono version. It, th there's not much more in this version, or the, the file size is not that much bigger, so just go ahead and get the mono version anyways. Um, this is a regular version, but just get the C Sharp Edition. The C Sharp Edition still allows you to use GD Script, so you don't have to worry about that. So, you know, you can use C Sharp and GD Script, or if you don't want to use C Sharp anymore, you can just still use it as normal, but um, you mainly you're going to want to use the mono version. So, as you can see here, show in folder, and let's uh, right click uh, this, extract, and go ahead and when we go into here uh, if as you can see here if we look at the file size um, of our file let's go back uh, give me a second right click properties um, and it, it, it's 49 megabytes that's all that's how big it is and if you want to have this and you don't have to use an installer uh, which is really awesome. Um, but if I right click this and I click on uh, send to uh, desktop, create shortcut, uh, we can get that. And just let you know, to, to, just so we, because we can, I'll go ahead and I'll show you the uh, the smaller edition. So it's not that much smaller. So this is the, uh, the this is the edition that does not require um, uh, C sharp. You can see in here, um, it's 42 kilobytes. So this is uh, seven kilobytes more for the uh, C Sharp edition. But if we go here to the uh, desktop, and I'll go ahead and I'll close these, you can see here is Godot shortcut and such. We can actually right click this, uh, we can rename this, and we can just simply call this Godot. And if we double click this, this should open up Godot Game Engine. That's awesome, right? So you don't currently have any projects, uh, not yet. If we click on new project, uh, new game project, create folder, and if we click create and edit, um, here we go. We have a brand new project. So um, of course it says C sharp is not feature complete. Um, C sharp is not entirely stable, but you know it. You don't have to use C sharp in this edition. You can also use GD Script. And you know we can do stuff as normal. So, for example, if I wanted to add in uh, a block, let's go ahead and let's go into here. Uh, let's see here. Visual instance ge geometry mesh. I wanted to drag that in mesh cylinder. So yeah, right now we have a cylinder in the game. It's pretty cool, um, and. going to here. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you don't know anything about this. Sometimes it'll it'll ask this. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll allow access anyways. But you don't need to use an installer um, uh, when you're working with Godot Game Engine. Now the last thing we need to install is we need to go to www.mono-project.com and we need to install Mono. So if we go into downloads, uh, so downloads, you can see here if you have you know those other operating systems uh, you can get that but um, mainly we want to get mono for Windows and the reason why we want to get mono for Windows is because if we decide to start coding which if you want to add code to your object for example you right click an object you click attach script and we can choose either the language native script C sharp but if we choose C sharp it's not going to work because we don't have mono installed it might uh, I, tried this before it's gonna crash Godot so 
um, if we don't have Mono installed. But it's very easy. Click download. Let's go ahead. Should be fully installed. It's not downloaded yet. <laughs> Give me a second. It, it just took a little bit of time. I don't know why that was just a glitch right there, but um, if you can see uh, mono, you should have this mono uh, download file. Double click, preparing to install. So you don't have to do any of this when you download Godot because of how uh, lightweight it is. Uh, but you can see you get the agreement, accept. Uh, yes. Copying new files. It should not take that long, guys. Don't worry. It's going to be quite quick. Copying new files. And uh, completed. So uh, if we go ahead. And we go into Godot project, for example, and we do attach script, C sharp, create, generating a C sharp project. Uh oh, um, it's a little bit embarrassing. We can try to fix this. You can see though that's you know kind of the problem of working with C sharp. Maybe it didn't save. That's weird. But attach script create. Gener uh, generating Godot sharp solution. Next. Oh, cancel, cancel. Sorry, cancel for that. So, you know, it might crash. Um, give me a second. And here we go. I paused um, I paused the lecture, but just a couple seconds later it worked. So, you know, you can actually write uh, C-sharp code in here. So this is for later on. It's pretty cool. Uh, but we can write C-sharp code um, to control our objects in this game. Or not, at least, not exactly objects, but nodes. But you'll understand later on. Um, but... Anyways, I'm Ben from Suspendi Studios, and thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.